Grade 12, I'm going to explain to you page 79, and this is a type of drawing you'll get in the prelims and ex uh, final exams. Let's just first read the question. So, draw to scale 1 to 1, the given top view, the complete front view, and clearly showing the curve interpenetration. And then it says, develop only the two surfaces of the triangle pipe. But, I'm going to add another question, and I'm going to develop the um, cylinder as well okay so you can see both of them okay so they only ask for one i'm going to do both so you can clearly see the difference and how they can ask either or so i'm going to develop both the main pipe and also the branching pipe okay i'm just going to first draw the given views um, and then I will continue the video because what you want to see is not the copying but the drawing itself So I'm just going to pause and then you'll see me now in a second Now that I've drawn what was copied we can now continue from here The first thing is we have to go and number our two views So the top view, front view I'm going to number the triangular prism as A, B, C So from a front view's perspective that's a a b c and b c now what about the pipe well i'm going to use numbers but we can't yet because there's no corners it's a pipe so we'll have to use a circle so i'm going to take my compass i prefer using a full circle because um, a half circle can be confusing so it's not wrong but i prefer to use a full circle Okay, so there's my full circle. And we'll have to do the same on the top view. Oh, sorry, front view. Also a circle. So here, I'm also going to draw a circle. Now let's start to divide it. So I'm first going to divide the top view. This should be light, but I'm drawing it a bit darker so that you can see it on the video. Um, missing, oh, the top. There we go. And I'm going to do the same here, but now there's a catch. This is drawn at a 45 degree angle, so the quickest way to resolve this is to put your 45 down put the 3060 on the 45 and then go and draw your angles okay so you can't just start drawing it because otherwise your 45 it's not gonna you'll see it. the circle won't work out you won't be able to divide the circle into 12 parts um, there and I need one more uh, this side this side this side this side Now to number. I'm going to start my numbering by making this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I started day of 1 and I numbered clockwise. This is important because now look what will happen on the front view. The numbers need to correlate. So I have to decide if you look at if this is a top view, either 1 or 7 will be the top of the drawing. So I've decided one is going to be the top of the drawing. This is the top of the drawing. So that'll be one. And then I also number the same in the same direction. So clockwise. Okay. So if you just remember where the top is or figure that out and ask yourself in which direction that I number, they will correlate. Now we're going to, project the circle onto my drawing so I can actually use it. So 10 goes all the way there. 9, 11. 8 and 12. 7 and 1. 6 and 2. 5 and 3 and then 4. And don't be 
I'm scared of numbering it here as well. I'm going to number it here as well because it helps me to keep track of where I am. 11, 8 and 12, 1 and 7, 2 and 6, 3 and 5, and 4. Okay. Now the same thing for your front view. At that 45 degree angle, bring it down. So 6 and 8. Make it a bit bigger. 5 and 9. Let me just take this down again. It, was, it wasn't far enough. 3 and 11. 2 and 12. And then 1. Oh, don't forget about 7 as well. There. Now, this is now where the crucial part comes in. I'm going to start here at the bottom at 10. And I'm going to move up and backwards again to all the numbers. And I'm going to do it one at a time. Because otherwise, I'm going to confuse myself. So, I'm taking 10 up. So follow 10 and look for the number 10 here. So there's 10 and there's 10. It's here on the edge. There we go. Now we're taking up 9 and 11. Okay, so there's 9 and then there's 11. And let's number it as well. Otherwise, we're going to get confused. So 9. So play it safe, number Otherwise, later you have to go and try and find your lines again. 8 and 12. There's 8. There's 12. 1 and 7. 7. That's 1. And then on the edge. And this is the front view. Because remember, if you look at it. If this is the top view, this side from C to A will be visible. From A to B will be hidden. So I'm immediately going to go and darken it so you can see it. With a neat as possible freehand. Be careful of sketching. Just a dark line. Just one solid line. So that's the front view. Okay, now we have to go to the back of the picture so it ends you can't see anything beyond um, a so now we go to two and six now look for two and six okay there's six where's two two now we've got three and five Three and where's five and five, and then lastly, four. There's four, and this you connect to one another with a three hand, and it's hidden detail. There we go. So that's the front view. Front view is done. Now to do the development. I'm just going to turn this. So I'm going to do the development here. And I'll see. I'll do my best to fit in the other development as well. I'm going to develop it in line. And they want us. The question is to develop the triangle part. So I'm going to develop. I'm just, just going to project the triangle across. And we have got space, I'm going to draw it. So the triangle will start here. And they said, develop of only the two surfaces of the triangle where there's something to show. Because if you look at the top view, from B, my B to C, there's nothing. It's just blank. So I'm just going to draw the two um, from BA to AC. And the length of one side of the triangle is 60. So I'm going to make it 60. And then 60 again. Uh, 
and I'm gonna put A in the middle, B on the left side, and C on the right side. And I'm not gonna draw a C to um, a C to B because I only want the part where you can see it. Okay. We can. What's the height? 120. We can complete this. Um, drawing without the development and then I'll add the development afterwards so there. okay I'm not gonna do anything in the middle yet you'll see why all right so we've got C A and B that's easy but now how do we get all the numbers here you have to go to a true length you can't use the front view because B to A is not a true length because you, if you look at the, at the top uh, top view, it's at an angle. So yeah, we can go and get true length. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my compass. From B to 4, set it. Okay? Did you hear what I say? From B, oh, from, yeah, from B to 4, which is on its way to A, and number it 4 there. Then it's three and five and that makes sense that it's three and five you'll see why this is relevant three and five then it's from b to a two and six and then we've got a then from a again it's one and seven so from a towards c one and seven from a towards c eight and twelve then it's nine and eleven then c which is also ten let me just make a note there that's ten just that i remember Take it up. Now we're going to start there from four again. Now on the front view, I'm going to get the height of four. So put down your compass there, measure four, then take it across to four and make a little mark there. Okay, so there's four. Next is three and five. That's why I said number it because now I can see, oh, there's five. And then there's number three. Okay, so do yourself a favor, number, 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 everything you do. It's gonna make it so much easier. Now it's two and six. Yep, two and six. A, okay, now we need A. A is also easy. It's on the edge of A, so there. And there. Now one and seven. There's seven. There's one. Now number eight. There's eight. Then I need 12 as well. There's 12. <laughs> I see I never numbered them. Why? I don't know why. Eight and 12 and nine and 11. Oops. Okay. And then 
it's so small it's like a little line there and then on the other side it's 11 and then 10 now let's connect all the points together meet three hand the development of the two, two triangles now let's say they asked you as they they asked this in instead that you develop the prism part I'm gonna do I think I'll have enough space here so I'm gonna do it here now the prism has 12 parts and it's a circle and this is one of the only formulas you have to know um, its area for civil and then you also have to know the circumference of a circle which is two pi r and using EGD pi equals 3.14 let's work it out so 2 times 3.14 times the radius what's the radius of the circle well if the diameter is 50 the radius is 25 okay so great trials you have to know this well this thing just Okay, so it's 2 times 3.14 times 25. 175. Okay, so 175. Let's hope I have enough space here. So remember, they didn't ask for this, so this is something I'm doing extra just to show you. Let's see. 157. Yo, it's going to fit in barely, like in. And then I might go over a bit of the line, so I apologize in advance, but that's the space I have to work with. So let me take this up. Now this is the total distance. Now I have to divide this into 12. So take 157 divided by 12. It's about 13. So set, I'm going to set my compass to 13. Let's recount this. So it's, and so I'm going to start at one, um, just to make it easy for myself. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and one again. Okay, now where do I go and get the heights? We can't get it from the top view because this thing is at an angle and you can't see it there. So that's not the true length. So we have to get it from here. So I'm going to just go from 1 all the way through to 12. So 1 from there. And there's my 1. That's why it's so important to number it. There's 1. And there's a 1 on the other side because that's my seam. That's why I opened it. Now two, there's two. 
Three. Oh, I think it's gonna overlap. Yeah. So, uh, well, yeah, it's going to definitely. So sorry for that. Four. Like I said, this wasn't part of the question. I'm just trying to show this to you as well. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. So I just want to make this. So mine's gonna overlap a bit. I apologize for this, but it's just that you can see the how to do this as well. So ten. Okay, so where were we? We were at nine, and then ten is really a longer. So there's ten. I just want to check if nine is correct. Eleven. And twelve. I'm going to do it with a red so you can just see, see it. So I'm first going to draw it with a pencil. Oh, wait, 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 I almost forgot something. Don't forget about the corners. Okay, there's one corner A. Okay, don't forget about the corner. Ooh, I almost did it. Um, so the corner, if I take it across, yeah, the corner is between one and two and six and seven. So I'm gonna take my compass. I'm gonna take my compass from two towards one so from two towards one and then on the other side from six towards seven okay so don't forget about your corners i almost forgot about my corners there's luckily just one corner so it's only two places and what's the height of the corner well between one and two, it's that height there. And between, um, what was the other one? Six and seven, it's this here. Six and seven, where's my six and seven? There. Okay, let's connect them all together. So this is how it looks like. It goes down. Then it turns and goes up. And it goes down again. Goes up again. Draw this one with a red pen so you can see it. Okay, so they will always ask two um, hollow pipes that are connected to one another and they can either ask you to develop the pipe that has the hole or the pipe that makes the that fits into that hole 
so sorry I overlapped there, but so this is the development for the um, branching pipe or the cylinder, and this is the development for the triangle, and just the two sides that actually shows something. Okay, so this was a video that shows two in one, and this will be the type of question that will ask in your final exam. Thank you, Matrix.